Last week, Lucy, Tom and Mary organized a picnic in the park. Lucy brought five sandwiches, Tom brought three, and Mary just brought eight pieces of gold. And they are about to learn a lesson. What are the secrets of elections? After a nice and sunny lunch, came the time to share the gold pieces. Of course, the first idea was that Lucy would get five coins and Tom three. Mr. Shapley, a wise gentleman, overheard the conversation and suggested that Tom would only get one coin. How was that even possible? According to Mr. Shapley, everyone ate eight thirds of sandwiches. But most important for him is how they actually contributed. Lucy brought five sandwiches and ate eight third of sandwiches. She thus contributed to five minus eight third, which is equal to seven third. Tom brought three sandwiches and also ate eight third of sandwiches. He contributed to one third. This somewhat counterintuitive result is called the Shapley value, which measure every union member's actual contribution to a union. The group listens carefully and Mr. Shapley goes on. Yes, things are sometimes counterintuitive. Let's have a look at the EU voting system, for example. In 1958, the European community only had six member states, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg. Their seats were distributed as follows. France, four, Germany, four, Italy, four, Netherlands, two, Belgium, two, Luxembourg, one. And every initiative needs two thirds of the seats to pass. The so-called Shapley-Schubic power index varies between zero and one. It is equal to zero if there is no possibility for a player to change a minority into a majority union and is bigger as a player has multiple possibilities to have an impact on a decision. In this case, Luxembourg's Shapley-Schubic index is zero, meaning it has no power. But in 1973, the UK Denmark and Ireland joined the community. And even though Luxembourg's amount of seats was unchanged, its index increased. This means that a country's power isn't always dependent on its number of seats. How does it translate in the recent elections for the European Parliament? To simplify, let's consider the four main parties only. EPP, S&D, Renew Europe and Greens EFA. Out of the 518 seats, EEP has 182, S&D 154, Renew Europe 108, and Greens 74. In case an initiative requires at least 50% of the seats, EPP has the biggest Shapley-Schubic index value. S&D and Renew Europe have the same index, but slightly lower. At the bottom, the Greens EFA have a shapley schubert index equal to zero. But if an initiative needs more than two-thirds of the seats, the situation is totally different. Now, EPP, S&D, Renew Europe and Greens EFA all have the same shapley schubert index. Power depends on elections, of course, but also on the rules. For a game to be fair, it needs clear rules for each scenario.